Hi there guys, welcome to our um, 12 Laravel code hub tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about the replies to the post itself. So in this tutorial we're going to be doing a few things. First thing is we're going to be creating a migration for the replies. Since we need to store the replies for each post, we need to create a, a, a table for that. So for that we need to create a migration. Second of all, we need to create a model for the replies that way we can create the relations between the posts and the reply and then we're going to create a route where we can go ahead for our next tutorial this will be handled in the next tutorial actually is where we click on the post and we actually load the post content and also all the replies for the post and then lastly for this tutorial we're going to go ahead and display the number of replies for this uh, post uh, down here as you see only comments here you'll see a number basically this post has seven comments and then when they click on this they'll view the post and also the actual uh, replies the content but that will be in the next story on this story we're going to display the number also and create all the relations so we can so we can uh, you know get a lead way for the next story okay so first of all let's just go ahead and create the route so we can get this out of the way very fast for the next story so in this story simply just create the get request post and we will be passing in a slag so this will be a URL so we will go to let's say code hub slash and then post slash and then the name of the post and then once we pass in the name of the post in the function in the back end we will go ahead and find that post and then populate all the replies for it so I'm gonna call this as view post and I'm gonna make a function called view post and that will be handled in the form controller so if you open your controllers in the form controller as you see here, here I already created this called view post but simply I just did a die and dump a view post page since we're gonna be handling the logic in here in in the upcoming tutorial but you can go ahead and just do this for now as this will not be uh, we will not be using this okay next let's go ahead and create the migration so as you see here under our database migrations we don't have a migration for the replies we have a migration for the posts themselves so open your command line navigate to your htdocs code hub folder and let's run a php artisan command and call make migration and call this create replies table and I'm gonna the table name will just be replies and hit enter and once you do that you will see the table created here so let me go ahead and open that table replies so I'm just gonna go ahead for the replies we will just need a simple foreign key and I will explain why so I'm gonna copy this foreign key here and paste it very fast So I'm gonna call this post ID, and this is gonna this will point to the post table. The reason is because um, each reply will belong to a particular post. So a post can have many replies. So we want to have here a uh, one-to-many relationship between the post and the replies, so we can link them to each other using the models. Another column that we will need here is the body. For the reply, we will just allow, we will just introduce a text box and then allow the user to, you know, to enter a reply and then store that. So I'll just call it body here and save that. And let's go ahead and deploy that by running the PHP artisan migrate command. And if you go to your database here, PHP, and you click, you refresh my database here, I see the reply tables with the columns that we specified here created all right so now that we have this our third thing that we will need is the model so let me close let me go to the models here I'm gonna open the post here this is the post model so I'm gonna create a new model and I'm gonna call this reply so let me go ahead and save this as reply.php I'm gonna copy the content of the post here since it will be almost the same, so it won't, it will be under the same folder, so under the same namespace, app models. We will be using eloquent. Make sure we change the name of the class to reply. The table will be replies. And we do not need we don't have a category ID, we'll have a post ID and a body. 
and in here we're going to create a relation to the post so a reply must belong to a post so this is fine so it belongs to and then here we put models so basically where is the you're going to point where the uh, the post model class is so the post model is under app models and then it's called post so save this I'll copy this and now back in the post model we want to create the relation to the replies so I'm going to call this function replies but in here a post can have many replies so can I want too many so let's go ahead has many and then point it to the reply model and then save this okay now in here within our home page so let me refresh this what we want to do is we want to display the number of replies that we have but since we don't have uh, a page where we can reply yet we're going to manually insert some in the database but first let's do the logic here so let's do an if statement here so what I'll do is I'll do if as you guys can see here so if post give me the replies for the post and get the count and I will explain why I'm doing this in a second and I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna end the if statement and here I'm gonna do post replies and then the count and then the comments so let me just do here comment with lowercase and I'm gonna comments that so what are we doing here let me explain here so what we're doing is we're checking if as, as you can see here we we're, we're going around the loop so for this could be we could have many posts but in this case we only have one so it says here for this since it's going in a loop it's saying for this particular post give me all the replies and the reason is is smart enough to understand this is because we created the relations as you remember in the post here so we're saying when I'm when I when I say post replies what I mean is give me all the replies to this particular post and, in, and it's smart enough to figure that out so I'm telling it give me the replies for this particular post but instead of giving me the content itself just give me the number so give me a count of how many replies there are there and then I'm checking if that is greater than zero the one I want to do is I want to display that number with the comments so in this case we do not have any replies if I go in the table here and I browse we have no replies so technically we should not see anything here let me refresh this page okay so we see nothing but let's put an else here so in the beginning if somebody posts a new uh, question here most m most likely you will not have any comments in the beginning so for that case we can have an else statement here what we can do is just have a message we can see we can say something like be the first comment be the first to reply so in this case we should see that message appear and you guys can type your own messages here but as you see here be the first to reply but now in the case if we had some sort of comments and we're going to head and insert some manually we should see the number here displaying okay so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to just go into my sql here and do an insert and let's just insert like maybe two comments so we should see a number there. So let's go ahead and put uh, we're gonna you have to select a foreign key so we only have one post and that ID is two and just type something here same thing here and do something like this and let's put and let's hit go and we should see two of them if we click on browse we see two we see two replies to this particular post which is post number two and let me show you here, if we go in the post table, we see that the post ID is actually number two, so that is linked correctly. And back here, if you refresh, now we should not see be the first to reply, but instead we should see the number, so we should see three comments, or oh, sorry, two comments, as you can see that, two comments. So in the next tutorial, guys, we're going to go ahead and create a link here, so when people, when somebody clicks on the post itself, they will be able to go to the new page where it was where they will be able to view the post and actually the replies themselves all right so thank you for watching this tutorial guys and stick around for the next tutorial and have a and if you have any suggestions about any tutorials please let me know and have a good day guys thank you